time we are doing a shoot inside a jungle. I'm damn excited to see that's how a night patrolling goes on. Come. So this is the first time I'm experiencing what night patrolling goes on. I think it's yeah. like it's nothing for you. Yeah, I'm happy to it. So what are the things you look up on? See, uh, it's all about presence of foresters. Just uh, the presence of my staff inside the forest will ensure the safety of the mm. forest. Mm. Um, rarely we expect them to go in the night patrolling, do deep into the jungles because it's very risky also. But just because of my presence of my staff inside the forest, we can stop the any illegal activities inside the forest. Mm. So first, I will look after whether my forest staff is present or not. Mm. If he's happened, whether there any alternative has been kept or not. Mm. So these things we used to check. Mm. Secondly, we used to check the register. Past 10 days, 15 days, what work he did. He used to have a diary. Uh. Every camp has a diary register. So we used to check the register like what happened. Uh, in which area he roamed. So in that register he has to he will document everything. Mm. Tiger ka mood hai, tendua ka mood hai. And uh, what and all he has seen in the past fifteen days. Mm. By that I get to know that okay, this guy like worked in past fifteen days, he has seen this, this, this. So by this way I got to know that, okay, he did his work in the past fifteen days. Uh, secondly, especially in night patrolling, now nah, if vehicle movement is there, it will add strength to my uh, strength and moral to my forest. Matlab, first staff, because uh, by walk, a forester can cross. Matlab, my beat guard, a watcher can walk two kilometer, three kilometer. But now and then, our vehicle moving inside, outside the jungle, now nah, he will get more moral strength. That okay. The vehicle is there for us to protect also, and I also and some is there. some some more strength for them. So that will add uh, more power to them. Yeah. And what about like uh, today throughout the day we have seen you like you started your day 5:30 in the morning. You yes. had some inspections yes. and all. Uh, <clears throat> like this is the real life of forest officer. Um, yes, I already told you before. Like, uh. It's very labor intensive work. If you want to stop encroachment, if you want to stop illegal activities inside the forest, and uh, since it's very vast for any of my field visit, I have to first go from my office to the field for like one hour, one and a half hour, and then get down there and have to walk for hmm. one hour, one and a half hour to see my works. Yes, it's very labor intensive, but it's not every day. It's not like this, but at least three days in a week, I used to take like this and uh, take time like this and go to the field, and at least three days in a week, it will be like this only. You know, once I met one of the uh, trekker, he told that we all, you know, shout for sighting a tiger, mm -hmm. sighting a animal, wild animal. Mm -hmm. But the feeling is totally different when you see it. You have seen it a lot of times. Mm. I want you to share your memories. Any like most remarkable memory? See, the most remarkable memories means like uh, sighting tiger with the cubs. It means like <laughs> you are getting 100 out of 100. So a tiger give birth to a cub only when it feels like that area is well protected uh -huh. and only it feels safe. Okay. So if my uh, if the tigers in the jungle and the leopards in the jungle are giving birth to the cubs means uh -huh. then it shows that we are protecting the jungle in the right way. Uh -huh. They feel that their... That uh, torchlight was like... That's some... a camera trap. What's that? This is a camera trap. So we have placed so many camera traps inside the jungle to oh, monitor flash the. Just yeah, yeah, it's a monitor the movement of the people. It monitors the movement of whatever animal crosses by, oh. so that we will get to know like what happens in the now jungle. Now we got that trap. Yeah, yeah. Now you are get tra <laughs> got camera trap. Uh, next week I will get the pics of. Oh really? Yeah, every week Please share it with me. By this way, we get to know some of the rare animals present in our jungles also. Some two years before, uh, we got camera trap of a fishing cat, which was not yet reported in okay. Okay. So, this helps. Camera trap is one another uh, protection mechanism we have. You were sharing about that tiger and that. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, by seeing the cubs now, like, yeah. I already told, like, uh, they will give birth only if they feel that the jungle is safe. safe. For their mindset, what is safety? For their mindset is like uh, safety means uh, least disturbance from human beings. Yes, from human beings, from cattle. Okay. So from fire, huh. from uh, everything, they need le least disturbance. That's why protected areas are completely huh. protected. You can't even take a stone out of a protected area. Okay. That's why, like, even whatever happens, let, we will leave that inside the jungle. It will decompose there. It will go to the nature. Wow. 
These are all some of the tourist initiatives like we we used to do here and there so that the tourists can feel everything. So now our idea is like uh, building a watch tower here huh. so that they can tourists can go there and just look and have a feel of the jungle from the top. And we are thought of putting a telescope also here for stargazing. Huh. So my future idea is like to start kayaking here. So this is a buffer area huh. uh, to start uh, kayaking here. In and this field. Uh, yes, yes, in this water. So now you have seen. Uh, yeah, we can go to the top. In Tiger Reserves, uh, there are two concepts called uh, buffer and core. Huh. So in core area, na huh. you can't even get down. But see, in buffer you are standing, you are huh. watching and enjoying. Uh, so why the concept of buffer came? Why we can't make every area in the core area? So the thing is like, core area is completely protected. Huh. No tourist can get down of the vehicle. Huh. There are only some designated points where one can get down. No private vehicle is allowed. Huh. Only the safari vehicles are allowed. Huh. But in the buffer area, you can bring your own vehicle. We just charge some moment for the maintenance of the forest. But it's open for everyone. So the aim of buffer area is like, uh, there should be some balance between hmm. man and wildlife. There should be some cohabitants, but love cohabitation. So we want a buffer area should be the a, an area of experiment where everybody come Fem- to protect wildlife. Ah. At the same time, they live together with the wildlife. Just we are standing in an area which is a tiger movement area, which is called a cola buffer area. Oh, this is a tiger movement. This is area. tiger movement area. Three days before sightings happened here, tiger walked from here and it sat in that. Ah, you scaring me. <laughs> so this is a tiger movement area. Huh. Right near this area, there is a village. Okay. Okay. Huh. So. Two years before this uh, this area was like a village, and we asked the people to just mm. uh, go from this place so that we can protect this jungle. Uh-huh. In turn, we gave them some packages and all. Uh-huh. At the same, and we started developing this area. So now this area is turned into a good jungle, uh-huh. worth for wildlife. So tiger started coming, and uh, मतलब tiger started coming. So after tiger news. Tourist, tourist started tourist coming. Tourists also coming. Huh? So we recruited the locals as a tourist guys, gypsy drivers, everyone. Now. You can see the hotels have started coming. Yeah, yeah. So the people sacrifice somewhat for the buffer area. Now they are getting it back. Yeah. So the idea is of buffer is like, I can uh, the core area is very labyrinth. See, we uh-huh. recruit so many staffs to protect core area, but five uh, percentage of India's jungle is like highly protected uh-huh. core areas. Rest are like jungles like this territory, which mm-hmm. is open. Anyone can go. Anyone can come. So to protect these kind of jungles where anyone can come, anyone go is like we need people support. Local people. Support. Local people uh-huh. support. I can't put a, so many staffs in all the jungles of India. Exactly. So we ne- I need more eyes. Hmm. So bringing more eyes, tourism is one of the ways to bring. More. But you need to give some benefit to the people for the protection. Hmm. That those experiments will happen in the I'll buffer area. Buffer area. Let's go. So this is another way that uh, we need some uh, uh, anchor hmm. behind which we can go. The tiger is one of the anchor. Huh. Tiger is one of the Ultimate pulling factor. Pulling, pulling factor. Uh, one of the pulling factor uh, of forest department. One of the pulling factor of uh, any. We need any gold, right? Ha ha ha. We need any gold, right? So, tiger is our gold. Gold. <laughs>